Last year, Connor dressed up as Spock for um, Halloween. He's going to go with the same costume again this year, but this year we're going to make him uh, a phaser. I printed out the actual phaser, and then I drew it up to a uh, real scale. This is a pencil drawing. Now the key to, uh, I did this for myself when I was in college. Uh, made one for myself, and how I did it back then was I took a pen flashlight and put that, let that be the center uh, center part that lights up for the gun. So I've drawn I've drawn this design based upon where I can embed this uh, pen flashlight. It's only about uh, a little bit thicker than a pen. I guess that's maybe a half inch at the most in diameter, and. Uh, it's going to have to fit into the wood like that. I'm going to drill into the wood. I'm going to cut this out. Um, I, I have an old balsa wood uh, boat which has been sitting around for years. The kids used to play with it in the bathtub. I'm going to take this apart and use this as the raw materials to make the gun from. I cut out my sketch of my phaser so I have the outline of the gun. Okay, so I drew the outline of the phaser. And, of course, I didn't do the, uh, the very tip. That's going to be a different material. And uh, so now I have the outline. Now I'll cut that. Okay, so I cut out, uh, cut out the balsa wood, sanded it a little bit. And this is the block I have so far. It's got some holes in it, but I'll fill this in. This is really lightweight. It's lightweight, but it's still very strong. And uh, this is the handle. Okay, I am going to take a uh, plastic bottle of Aleve headache medicine. Turn. I'm going to use the top of it. I'm going to cut right along this groove to give me uh, the silver thing, the, the holder of the uh, cylinder at the front. Okay, this is a uh, scroll saw. That cut through the bottle real easy, no problem at all. And this will be the head of our gun. Okay, review. Here's the boat. Cut that out. Use the drill bit. Put the hole in. Put the pen flashlight in. And uh, it's it's a pretty tight squeeze, which is what you want. I won't have to add any glue or anything. And it just so happens that when I pull it out, the light comes on. So that's working real good. And you have to take into consideration how much of this is going to be hidden by your bottle. So this is, you know, I worked it out just right so that I, and it's kind of accidental, but I hit the, uh, the length just right on the first try that uh, the, this much of the tip sticks out. Okay, here's my little bottle cap. I'm going to spray paint this silver inside and outside. Silver spray paint. Okay, so I take a, uh, this is a knife, a steak knife, it's without serrated edges. I cut through the plastic with this knife, and uh, now I have this hole, and that slides right over, right over the light. Okay, the knife tip has to be warmed up over the flame to get hot, that's why the knife tip looks burnt now. And this plastic burns a little bit, so you know, wipe it off on some piece of cardboard or something fast. This knife can never be used again for food, but it's good for cutting through uh, plastic, burning through plastic. You could use a drill bit too, I suppose. A few different ways to go about this. Okay, so here's all the parts now. We've got the, uh, the cutout balsa wood. The handle, the uh, mini phaser inset, and I've got other little parts cut now. This is the dial for the handheld phaser. This is a piece of balsa wood that's been cut and spray painted. Um, this is the tip of a pen. That's going to be the trigger. And these two little dowel rods, they've been cut. Uh, one's a big one, medium, one small, and they're the little little things that stick out. That thing there 
and uh, oh, the thing on top, the dial on top. And I cut off a, I cut off a uh, glue cap, spray painted it silver, and that's going to be this thing right there. Okay, I cut the uh, the wood. The handheld phaser part comes out. This part is going to be thinned, uh, smaller, taper towards the back. I'm going to sand the edges of this. It's going to be its own separate unit which fits back into it. We have elf ears. They cost uh, two dollars. We're cutting the tips off. Actually. Cutting the tips off. Okay, so we cut the tips off of our uh, little ears. Now last year we made a video on how to make the Spock costume. This is our little Spock here. Say hello, Connor. Say hello. Hello. It turns sideways. Now I put this here. And we're going to glue that down. And we, uh, we're going to use this uh, werewolf glue spirit gum. Okay, this is how our phaser came out. And it's all glued together and painted now. And the light's on. And uh, that is not bad. We were, were a little bit too rushed. We didn't get the uh, detail in the back, the little lines. And, um, okay. okay, why don't you model that, Connor? Hold that in your hand like I shoot somebody. Hold on. Hey. Live long and prosper. He's trying to do this boxing, but he's having a real hard time. Yeah. Give it a try, Connor. Uh, live long and prosper? <laughs> Show I me the beat. All right. I love this thing. It's a cool gun. I'm gonna play with it all day long. It's amazing. Here we go. Happy Halloween. Ooh, you're scary. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Look at the mist. Look at the mist hanging out. Smoke machine. Dry eyes. Kind of flash it up here. Look at it, Leo. Black cat on Halloween. That could be dangerous. Yeah, that's the way to do it. <laughs> 